Since I've started the Battles series where I test different tools, I've decided to test 8 different markers from 5 different brands. We're gonna have some fun today. Hi everyone and welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milenist and in today's video, as you already know, we're gonna have some battle between a lot of markers. Usually markers are not used for calligraphy, they're more for writers, graffiti writers and stuff like this on the street. But I've been using them on paper, I'm having fun with them and I hope you have some fun with them as well. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. First marker is on the run, 831, with a 25mm tip goes for around three dollars it has a uh, no pump system and it's with alcohol based ink i'm just gonna make a stroke with each marker just to see what kind of strokes each one each one produces and later we go with the letters second is again the same marker but here you can see it has added another color of ink already and it, it works perfectly fine still here I've decided to put two strokes for each marker uh, to show that it can produce also thinner strokes. Next marker is Molotov, the original 620pp. It's a permanent marker, goes for around $8 with alcohol based ink and pump system. Also a 15mm tip. Uh, this one is a bit older, as you can see, and uh, it delivers uh, drier strokes, which I actually like a lot. The next marker is 4 Artist Marker by PBO, 15mm tip, permanent, oil based marker, goes for around $10. But I'm not sure if you can find this marker because I've received it as a gift and couldn't find it anywhere online to be selling. Next marker is 94 Paint Marker by Montana, which is for around $5. It is with uh, alcohol based ink and 15 millimeter tip and again with a pump system actually all the markers in this video are with a pump system except on the run 831 marker and as you can see here this is a very old marker it produces very dry strokes and when you pump it, it the ink doesn't go into the tip and if you don't know what is a pump system here i'm showing you how the pump system works you just press the marker up and down and this process go for around 20 seconds. This is a Molotov 420 PP, goes for around $5. It is a permanent alcohol based marker with 15 millimeter tip and again with a pump system as you just seen. Uh, the stroke of this one is pretty nice. The goat is very shiny. I mean, this is a brand new marker after all, but yeah, I really like it. And here again, uh, a pump system marker, but this time it's not alcohol based. And this one took me more time to get the ink to write. It took me like 30 or 40 seconds or something like this. This is a Posca marker, goes for around $9. It has a 15 millimeter tip. It's water based with pump system and it's probably one of my favorite. The strokes and the color, it's, they're super awesome. I usually prefer dry markers, but the ink of this one made me like it a lot. The last on the list is Montana Macadores 94, which uh, I believe it's not anymore for sale and I couldn't find what the price is. It's a 60mm tip, water-based marker with pump system and it's a super fun to play with. As you can see, I guess from the list uh, both markers which were water-based I liked the most because I don't know, they delivered the super nice colors and it's very fun to play with them and since i was uh, writing the first strokes on the printing paper which is 80 gm there was some marks left on the other papers as you can see here and uh, this is because some of the markers are alcohol based they are also oil based and uh, this paper goes through when you use a marker. That's why I decided to try also in the sketchbook, which is 200 GM. And uh, as you can see, like this paper is very thick and there was no problem, no marks on the other papers. And then it was finally time to do some letters. I start here writing letter A with all the markers. You can see some markers are drier, others are with more ink within them. To be honest, I prefer the first two 
where they're in some uh, middle kind of state. They're not too dry, but there's, they're also not too inky. And I really enjoy this because you can see somehow the sole of the letters or something like this, all these uh, mini lines that, that the strokes produce. They are very attractive to me. And the last one, the biggest, I had to get a whole paper for it. I mean, this is a huge tip, so you have to use huge surfaces to write with it. Here are like some close-ups of the strokes, so you have an idea how they actually look and what are those lines that I was talking about, which I enjoy so much. Those on the run markers, which are not with the pump system, they're most of the time they're producing this dry, mar dry brush effect. And I guess uh, those two markers are probably the my favorite one from today's video. Yes, I know I said I liked a lot, a lot the Posca. I like it because it gives a very nice color. I enjoy dry effect, but here the color is super nice. And uh, here, as you can see, the paper is not enough. And I didn't realize what the center was and I got really annoyed. So I had to <laughs> throw this away and continue with the tests. Playing with the PBO, the oil-based marker. I mean, this marker is super cool. You can write with it on all kinds of surfaces. I've been writing with it on a lot of my clothes, on my suitcases and whatnot. So here I decided to write the best never rest with a few different markers. And just having fun with it. Uh, this is not really a battle video. I don't know actually what this video is. I just had a fun idea and here it is. You can see how different markers produce different strokes and different results. To be honest, I think most of the markers, they are very similar. I mean, they give you pretty much the same effect, except the Posca marker. I mean, there it is still the same marker, but it, it gives some other effect. I don't know how to explain it. I really enjoy it. Here going on the 200 GM paper again. Really nice paper, like super nice details of the strokes. This dry brush effect, which I'm so much in love with. And here again, mistakes, <laughs> which get me annoyed. Switching to the mode of marker, which I have for some time. You see the, it has the dry brush effect, but it's much stronger. And this is because it's an old marker. And when the marker becomes too old, the ink that dries in the tip destroys the tip actually. And this is no problem because you can buy a new tip and just keep using the marker. But I decide to still show you, like, to see what effect it delivers when it's a bit older tip. Versus the brand new tip and the brand new marker. I mean, you can see the difference. I really wanted to dry up a little bit the Posca to show you how the dry effect of Posca is, but somehow in this video, I didn't, I didn't do it for some reason. Together, this is actually a challenge started by uh, Tarwain. Check the check the description for more info about it. I was trying to dry it up, as I told you, but somehow this ink is a, it's a very good ink. And I haven't had Posca markers for a long time, so this marker is actually not mine. It's of my friend who delivered me this super awesome 4K camera. As you can see, the quality of this video is different. Have you noticed the difference actually guys? Let me know and let me know if you want more videos with this quality and this kind of editing because it's all new and I'm not sure how you're gonna react to it. Uh, going with the on the run marker and this time I believe I'm writing on the printing paper. With on This printing paper is one of my favorite papers to use for practice. And as you see with the other markers, it leaves marks on the other side, but with the dry markers, such as the on the run 831, you have no problem doing it. And as you can see, it gives some super nice and beautiful details of the strokes with the so many <laughs> times mentioned in this video, dry effect, actually dry brush effect. The gold one on the 200 GM paper, I mean, this was a few hours of really nice uh, and enjoyable fun. And 
I was very annoyed while I was writing all the calligraphy because I didn't like it. I mean, most of the times I don't like my calligraphy. But once I started editing the video, I was a bit more happy. I mean, I still hope that Paul doesn't watch because if he watches, <laughs> he's not gonna be happy. This is not calligraphy, or it's not, a, at least this is not a traditional calligraphy, guys. So please don't try to learn from me or don't try to imitate me. This is my own version of Fracture, which I've been doing for a long time. And I know it's wrong, but I do it because I enjoy it and it makes me feel good. I've decided to close the video with a small effect that I came up while using the markers and we were not filming. I'm just starting with the blue dry marker and uh, gonna make a 3D effect by adding the red Posca marker. It's very easy, as you can see, just uh, doubling up the strokes. And it gives this uh, super nice 3D effect, which I like a lot. And it's very easy to produce. And yeah, that's it for today's video battle of, of the markers. That's it for today's battle video, guys. What do you think about it? Which was your favorite marker? Or is there any marker that I haven't reviewed in today's video but you're using and you recommend some other people using it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up will be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video and as always, keep writing.